What's up, everyone? My name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today is a debut. Skies of Arcadia. This song is called Final Battle Theme. This is requested by G Dog over on Patreon. Thank you. From the channel War Maximus84. Never heard of Skies of Arcadia, but I will say that this is the only request I have for this game in the entire backlog that I have. So I don't know if it's a. Uh, one of those fly on the wall games or if it's very popular and just doesn't have a lot of requests but um this is 14 years ago <laughs> jeez so yeah i do know for sure that it's a final battle theme because that's just what it's called so let's go i'm assuming this is going to be quite epic but you never know you never know kind of short three minutes skies of arcadia let's go Horn section. Very heroic. Wow. I just thought of something. Hmm. Okay. Look at that bass, it's so like prominent. Yeah, that's good. Da -da -da -da. I love a good horn section, man. It's so like... This is cool. <laughs> The quality of the video makes the bass easier to hear. The, the rhythm of that. So a couple things before I get started. This is a two, it's from the year 2000, 24 years ago. Dreamcast. A game, a console that never really gets talked about. Even to this day, it's very rarely been on my channel. I can't even think of, I can't even think, have I even listened to Dreamcast? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I, don't, I, I know of it, but... um. Yeah, October 5th, 2000. Oh, and GameCube. Yutaka Minobe and Tatsuyuki Maeda are the composers. So, um, this was uploaded a while ago, so you can kind of hear like that YouTube compression. But it's, it's all good. But what I was thinking to myself during that, it was like, you know, this song, despite it being pretty straightforward, right? It's just got that horn and the... Immediately, I caught the, <clears throat> excuse me, the feeling of 
this is timeless because I could imagine this exact same song and pretty much any like AAA game now with, you know, like modern technology and recording equipment, whatever. But I, I can also hear it in stuff like, for example, a big one on this channel, Final Fantasy XIV. I could totally hear that in fourteen, right? Just imagine you know, like a bunch of people and you know an arena and then tick -tick 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 like same thing. So dare I say ahead of its time a little bit? Cause I mean I heard it on YouTube. I can only imagine like the quality like then, you know, through your CRT <laughs> or something like that. But what's interesting is like I've been, I've been doing this now for a little while. And I see comments every day. I see, you know, I, I've... My, my world of video games has expanded quite a bit because I know more names now, more composers, etc., etc. And, you know, I get a lot of comments of, like, oh, you should check this out, blah, blah, blah. I don't think I've ever heard of Skies of Arcadia until now. Why is that? Maybe it was like a specific region or just didn't sell well at all. But even stuff that is, say, less popular still gets some praise or someone talks about it. I've never heard of this at all. So I'm curious as to why do you think that is? But it's cool though. And the reason it's cool is because to me, this is... Now this might sound a little, call it cocky, call it whatever. It's not cocky, it's confidence. There's a big difference. It's actually a very distinctive line. The reason I'm saying that is because in order to, in my opinion, to succeed and to grow, you need to be aware of like yourself and your what you can do. And what I'm getting at is like, I know this channel has like a lot of potential and I still feel like it hasn't really like completely seen the right people because, you know, that's just the way I feel. But it's because of stuff like this. And what I mean by that is if you told me like X amount of years ago that I could show, I could share someone, one of my favorite songs from some obscure game that no one really talked about because some of my favorite songs are from obscure games that people don't talk about. And to give that like an audience and a signal boost, I would have been like, that sounds awesome. Um, not to say no one really does that these days because I don't really keep up with anyone really. But the fact that like I would have never heard this anywhere ever in my life except for this that's pretty special, you know, because now I've opened the doors to someone out there sees this in their feed and they're like, does that say Skies of Arcadia? Is that what I think it is? You know what I mean? And then like this nostalgia bomb will hit or something like that. And it can make someone stay. It might sound kind of crazy to you, but I've been, I do this as a career. So I see these stories. I, I can kind of relate just by imagining myself being in that situation. So for that, it's really cool. <clears throat> now that, combine that with being like a timeless sounding awesome song that could totally work well here. If you, if you told me that that was from 2000, I wouldn't, or I mean, if you told me that it was like recent, any, any time in the past five years, I would totally believe you. You know, that's a, that, that writing style is very universally loved. So if you're into that music, which millions of people are, you now know an extra place where you can find it from some obscure game in the 2000s on the Sega Dreamcast called Skies of Arcadia. And it's a final battle. So there's just something really special and magical to me about that. You know, like maybe these developers or someone, they're all like retired and all that. And all of a sudden they get a message in their inbox like, hey, I checked out your game. And they're like, huh? You know what I mean? That's what I mean by like, the magic of this channel and I'm really glad that I can like have that and share that with people. I don't think of <clears throat> I don't think of people sending me songs as just like okay, you know, let me like another number. 
I really try to put myself in that position and give it the light of day that it deserves because this would just be lost in the world of media and in a world where <clears throat> media is getting harder to obtain. It's kind of cool. So thank you for sharing these with me. Even if I have no idea what the hell is going on, I know it's a final boss. That's really cool. That's really cool. So, I mean, there's 110,000 views, so it's not totally obscure. I'm just saying. What I consider obscure is uh, my own list. My list is huge, full of requests. If I see something that's like not there at all besides one or two, I'm going to somewhat consider it obscure. So, let me know how wrong I am. If maybe everyone knows about this. Who knows? I'm just saying. I had to get that out of my chest. Skies of Arcadia from the year 2000, 24 years ago. Thank you to G-Dog. Thanks to everyone that you see here. Thanks to you for watching. My name is Jesse in the auditorium. Take it easy. Peace.